This video is Younger Brother approved for what I feel is subjectively fairly little offensive content. Welcome back to another episode of Cell Park Plays Fighting Teddy. Um, so what I realized after quitting and thinking about it for like 10 to 15 minutes is pretty obvious. Um, we just... We just unlocked this thing. So we should probably... Try to play the song that it's playing. So that's one of the nuts it plays. Okay, so that's another note it plays. There are 26 of these. So I think this is supposed to be like an alphabet type thing. So we can safely assume that it's trying to spell something out to us. Okay, so this is both P and the sound that he plays, and he plays it twice in a row. So, H, A, P, P. I think it's saying happy. So why don't we go tell the crying person to go cheer up?
Okay, that did it. That was indeed correct. This is an alphabet system. <clears throat> That, of course, begs the question, what does this say? All right, so our first letter is this one. So if this is A and this is B, C, D, E, So that's T. So it's T and then it's A. R. Z. O. P. Q. R. So that would be T A R A K L M N. So that's T A R A in T. Torrent. the one over from this. Let's see. S. So Tarn is. And then S A. Oh, Tarn is sad. That's what it says. So I don't know who Torrent is. Maybe it was that person who was crying. I doubt it though. That person was referred to as Monster when he killed me. But who knows? Hmm. 
don't really care what that thing is saying enough to uh, guess and check what it's saying. Especially since from what we learned from this totem is that even if you guess and check correctly, you do not unlock the letters on your thing. It's only when you use them for a command that they unlock. So we'll just open this door and see what's inside here. You unlocked a new picture. Well, there's apparently no going back. We've progressed. Hard progression in this game. So there's some sort of plant thing. So south we have a lazy mole and an empty spider's nest. Let's put this in here. This will wake that mole up. You got ants jumping all over you, man. better people than that. Why, oh, and It was for the greater good. We needed a ball of yarn for something. Cool, you can run by double clicking. Oh, we needed the ball of yarn for the cat. So, in my experience, gray things are bad things. So we should stay away from any creature that is large and gray. <coughs> Alright, so he says dig. This is D-I-G. Alright, so we're going to need to go back and tell that other mole that he needs to dig. And that'll get him up and moving. That makes sense.
D I Okay, so D I This is the G okay, so D I G Got it. It's very convenient there was already a rope tied there. So is this tarned again? If this is, so this would be R and master. Tarned is our master. Once you realize it's an alphabet system, it's surprisingly readable. So we need some sort of light source to keep going that direction. Because it just gets too dark. going to the left because not really a whole lot to do to the right. Oh, that's a great thing. I thought that was like a pipe. So he's missing like a gemstone thing. I don't think we have what he wants. I don't even know what this is. Okay, so we got problems. Great things all over the place. This one doesn't need to bother if we go to the right though, so we can keep exploring. Uh oh. I don't know how we're supposed to get past the crocodile. Oh, maybe we can put this plastic bag on him. No? Alright. Well, I'm not sure it's a plastic bag anyway. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Hmm. 
how do I get past the crocodile? Okay, so the cat definitely seems to do something when I click on him. So it seems to be possible to issue commands to the cat in some manner. But I don't know what I would use the cat for. These are like Tetris pieces. Got your line piece, your T block, the L block, just square and the little squiggly. I feel like I'm definitely missing something. <laughs> This is the frustration of point and click games. It's like, hey, everything was progressing smoothly, and now it's not. While well, you're doing everything right, point and click games are a lot of fun. You're just easily progressing. Then you run into something and you're like, I got no idea what the frick I'm doing. So that doesn't help. <laughs> there we go. We've created a dummy that looks kind of like us. Now when we jump across, hopefully you'll eat that instead of us. Nope, not quite good enough.
Come on, crocodile. We, we've we've built you an offering. How do I get past Crocodile? Alright, so I feel like this creating an analog human is the correct answer. That's oddly in depth for it to allow me to do without it being the correct answer. That would be crazy. But at the same time, Doesn't doesn't work. I'm missing something. Well, I've got no idea. So I'm going to call this a stopping point. I'm going to think it over, see if I can think of whatever the frick it is that I'm forgetting, and then see if we can figure out a way to move forward to the next episode. Because I don't want to have the red time go super long and me just walking back and forth, not figuring this puzzle out. I feel like I'm almost there, but I'm just missing something. And if I could just remember what it is I'm missing, or notice it, then I'll be able to get this figured out in pretty short order. But uh, I don't necessarily want to make the runtime of this video super long and full of absolutely nothing. 
So we're going to call this a stopping point.